At summer school, we learn more about the aspects of Baha'i life like prayer, unity, or the equality of men and women. This summer school had sessions on family life, the soul, and using the arts. We have workshops on various arts. We use puppetry and drama to understand virtues such as love, honesty, and truthfulness. The arts are used in devotion and prayer. The greatest name. The greatest name is um, is how Baha'is um, right, um, right God. Does that feel this line in the middle? Children use arts as a means of understanding beauty and expressing fellowship and love. And this one lying down, this one up top means God, and this one down bottom of it is um. Mankind and the whole love is Baha'u'llah. And the, the, the star is and the star is uh, Baha'u'llah. Right. And the Bab and Baha'u'llah. And the other star is Baha'u'llah. The Baha'i writings say that the true worth of artists and craftsmen should be appreciated, for they advance the affairs of mankind. For Baha'is, arts and crafts are given the status of worship. The New Zealand Baha'i community is fully involved with the expression of the arts, poetry, craft, drama, dance and music to name a few are some of the key elements of Baha'i life and especially feature at our Baha'i summer schools and events. We use the arts to explain and explore Baha'i concepts. And of course, song and dance are a wonderful means of unity and understanding between peoples and cultures. The Baha'i writings provide inspiration and lyrics for heavenly songs. Arts are not at the periphery of our community, but are rather at the very heart of it. So it's an expansive, inclusive, all my relations. All the animals, the trees, the plants, all my relations.